Hello, good, good morning everyone. Today we are going to start our out of class activity. Uh, the topic what I selected was engineering curves. So in your previous activity, I have given you a question regarding uh, engineering curves, uh, that too particularly the parabola. So what we are going to do today is, we will take another example, but we are going to solve that with another method. Okay. So the question is, uh, a fountain jet discharge water from the ground level, but with an inclination of 50 degree. And that jet travels a horizontal distance of 9 meter from the point of its discharge and falls on the ground. So we have to trace the path of the jet. So as we know, it, it's going to be a parabola. So today we'll use a new method called tangent method. So in tangent method, what you are going to do, your first step will be to draw a triangle. Okay, so let us take, say, this is your pipe from where your jet is going to discharge. So now this jet is not at a zero degree. Now this jet is at some inclination from your ground level at 50 degree. This is your 50 degree. So the jet travels. This is your ground level. So this distance the jet has traveled been given you as nine meters. So basically we have to draw this curve. This curve is nothing but your parabola. So how we are going to do is first we draw a horizontal line. Now since the distance that has been given is a 9 meter and it is difficult to draw in your sheets, what you do, you take a scale. So you can take a scale like 1 meter is equal to 1 centimeter. So basically what you are going to do, you are going to draw a horizontal line, line of 9 centimeters. This will be of 9 centimeter. The next step is you have to take 50 degree from this point. Let us give the name as A and this as B. So you have to take an inclination of 50 degree from A and an inclination of 50 degree from B. If you are taking from A as your anti-clockwise direction or clockwise, it will be opposite on the other side. So this will be 50 degree and this will be Please note the both angles should be in opposite direction. Okay. Clear? Yeah. So now what you need to do is now you have three points A, B, and C. Now the next step is you have to divide your AC and BC into equal number of parts. Now that equal number of parts can be 5, 6, 7, 8. Mind that more number of parts you will get more number of points to join to get your curve. So I am taking, let us take 5 points. 3, 4, So basically I have divided the line AC into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 parts. Similarly I have to divide BC also into 6 equal parts. Fine. 
Now, what the most important step is the numbering of these points. Mind that, or remember that the numbering, when you start numbering, it should be in opposite direction. If you are numbering AC line as 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, for BC, it will start in an opposite way. Say for example, you have started the numbering from bottom to top, the BC it will start from top to the bottom. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and here 5. Just it's because of another segment, I am going to give it as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, and here 5 dash. Okay. Now the last step is join these points. 1 will join 1 dash, 2 will join 2 dash, 3 will join 3 dash, 4 will join 4 dash and 5 will join 5 dash. It's a little difficult to draw the straight lines using a mouse. So now this enclosed figure is your parabola. So your parabola is somewhere gonna be like this. Clear? Very simple method. I'll repeat the steps. First, you take the scale. You can write your scale as always mention the scale. Right, one meter is equal to one centimeter. So, since the maximum distance what the jet has traveled was nine meter, so we'll take a scale of nine centimeter. So, first step, draw a line AB of nine centimeter. Second step, from A, take fifty degree in one direction. If you're going anti-clockwise, for B it should be clockwise. So from A take 50 degree, from B take 50 degree. They are going to intersect at a point called C. Now, next step, divide AC and BC into equal number of parts. I have divided into 6 parts. So your AC is in 6 parts and BC is in 6 parts. The most important step is the numbering. You will start numbering AC from bottom to top, then you will start numbering CB from top to bottom. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For BC it is 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash and 5 dash. The last and the final step is join the opposite points. Like 1 will join 1 dash, 2 will join 2 dash, 3 will join 3 dash, 4 will join 4 dash and 5 will join 5 dash. So automatically you can see a curve has already formed. You don't have to join with your uh, pencil. The curve will automatically form. What you can do is you can little darken it with your freehand sketch. So you will get your required command. Thank you.